all yours. Good luck, Kat. Enjoy. Fireball. Hello, and what's your name? Hello, my name is Lee, and, for obvious reasons, I'm also known as the Lost Voice Guy. OK, and how long have you lost your voice? I just knew you were going to ask something that I hadn't thought about beforehand. <laughs> so please excuse the awkward silence while I type out my answer. I've been speechless for 37 years. Wow. Tell me why you decided to enter the show this year. I think I entered Britain's Got Talent for the same reason everyone does. To meet Anton Deck. Yeah. Yeah. This is all going so well up until that point. <laughs> the stage, Lee, is yours. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. As you may be able to tell, I'm a struggling stand-up comedian who also struggles to stand up. <laughs> to be honest, I'm not sure how good I am. I'll leave that for you to decide. But, just so you know, if you don't laugh at the disabled guy, you are going to hell. <laughs> When I realized I'd never be able to talk again, I was speechless. <laughs> I have lived in Newcastle all my life. Yes! But for some reason, I still haven't picked up the accent. <laughs> I can see that some of you are trying to figure out where you know me from. Maybe it would help if I started saying phrases such as the next train to arrive on platform <laughs> 4 is the 1252 yeah, service to London King's Cross. <laughs> and, from my time at the post office, please go to cashier number 8. <laughs> I got the train here today. I always like to sit in those seats for disabled people. I was about halfway here when another disabled person got on and asked me to move. I didn't realize I'd be playing disabled top trumps when I got on or I would have dressed more special. <laughs> Needless to say I didn't give up my seat. Who cares if he was both blind and deaf? I was there first. It was very awkward. He couldn't see that I was still there. And I couldn't tell him I wasn't moving because I can't speak. Before I leave you, I have one more thing to say. I hate that we have so many, politically, correct words to describe disabled people now. It's all special needs. Special schools, special Olympics. I don't know what is so special about me. That is why it always alarms me when I hear about special forces going to war. You've been a fantastic audience. Goodbye. David. Well, Lee, that was hilarious from start to finish. Every one of those jokes was an absolute zinger. I think it's one of the best stand-up comedy routines yes. I've ever seen, let alone on this show. I mean, Amanda and I were just saying you had us just from your T-shirt. From the T-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> it was brilliantly funny, very clever, and I can't wait to hear more. Well done. Yeah. I think you're an absolute genius.
because comedy is supposed to be edgy, it's supposed to push the boundaries, it's supposed to make us laugh and feel uncomfortable, and you did all those things brilliantly. What I love about the show is when you get surprised. You are really, really, really funny. We need people like you on the show. The world needs people like you. You've got such an amazing outlook. You know what? Through the show, outside the show, I want to work with you. I really like you. David? I am, of course, going to say yes. Saying yes. It's a yes for me. Guess what? Got four yeses. Do it on the Jordies. I love it. Come on, in. Come on, over. Come on yeah. Oh, brilliant, man. That was wonderful. What a cool guy.